I think about ringing the doorbell, but then decide to knock lightly instead. There's no response, and all I can hear coming from inside is the thrumming of music. They probably can't hear me knocking, and I fear that ringing the doorbell will make me seem unprofessional. I inhale deeply, trying to steady my breathing as I smooth down my dress. It's now or never. All or nothing. I have to do this. I'm going to do this. I wrap my hand around the door handle and turn it, entering the house with my nose turned up. Even if I don't feel like it, I need to make myself look like I'm worth a grand an hour because that's what these gentlemen will be paying for me. The $500 is my 50% split, and I want $500 for going through all of this. If James doesn't turn me away, I'm going to do everything that I can to earn it. I don't care how disgusting. I try to look elegant as I walk into the living room, putting one leg in front of the other like a model on a catwalk. There's no one to see it, though, because the living room is empty. I allow the fake smile that I've been wearing to falter as the sound of moaning greets me from somewhere further into the house. They've already gotten started. I had at least hoped I could sneak in beforehand and blend seamlessly with the other girls. My luck tonight is really shitty. My eyes land on the bar, and I feel a strong need to make myself a drink. My nerves are eating me alive, and I think some alcohol might take the edge off. I'm already going to be on James's bad side, though, and I don't want to make it worse by helping myself to his booze. Still, I can't go in there like this. Internally, I'm falling apart, crumbling with every second that takes me closer to selling my soul for money. That's what it feels like I'm about to do. Sloth off my last bit of humanity. The part that makes me a person and not an object. I stand at an impasse, my eyes dancing between the door to the balcony and the direction where the voices are coming from. I know I shouldn't waste any more time, that the right direction to go in is the one where people are enjoying sexual delights. I should burst through the door like the main event and give the clients a night they'll never forget, securing a job that's so close to being lost. But my feet carry me in the opposite direction, toward the balcony instead. I just need a minute. One more minute to recompose myself and summon up my inner, sultry goddess. I'm already more than thirty minutes late. What's a few more? I push open the sliding glass door leading out onto the balcony, and the cool ocean air rushes up to greet me, kissing my face with its salty embrace. I close the door behind me and head to the railing, wrapping my hands around it and facing the sea. This alone was worth the trip. It feels incredible and reminds me of another life, a life that I could someday have if everything goes right tonight. If dirty, horrible men can afford something like this, then why can't I someday? Not everyone makes it to the top with decent work. It's not about how you get there, but that you do eventually get there. Could I sell myself for this? Can I destroy myself tonight for the chance to rebuild myself into someone whole? Yes, it will be worth the pain. It has to be.